CDC, about one in three people in the United States will develop shingles in their life. Your risk of getting shingles increases as you get older or if you have a weakened immune system. However, cases in younger adults have been increasing, leaving scientists to wonder why. Dr. Nidhi Kumar is on call to tell us more about the rise in diagnoses. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for coming in. And first, what causes shingles? Well, what many people don't realize is it's caused by the same virus that causes chicken pox. So you have chicken pox when you're younger, as many of us had, and and it then lays dormant in your body. Several years later, it reactivates and you get shingles, that painful rash. Now, typically shingles was thought to be a disease of older adults, but we are seeing younger and younger people, 30s, 40s, 50 year olds getting shingles. And what are the symptoms and is it contagious? So the symptoms are first that quintessential painful rash and it comes on um, almost like a stripe in the body around the torso or down the arm. And that's because when shingles reactivates, it follows a nerve path. So that's why you'll see people, when they have this rash, it's very distinct in the pattern. It can be quite dangerous, um, especially if that rash is on the face. It can f affect your vision, it can affect your hearing. About 20% of people developed a, a post-herpetic neuropathy, so they actually develop this pain syndrome that's long-term after shingles. It can cause pneumonia. It can even cause encephalitis. Ugh. Who is most susceptible to this? So people with compromised immune systems, people with chronic diseases, older individuals. But another point I want to make is children that haven't been vaccinated for the chicken pox. Because now that we're seeing shingles in younger adults, well, those younger adults can be exposed to children that haven't had their chicken pox vaccines. So it's very important that if you have a child in the house or you're around a child that hasn't been vaccinated for the chicken pox and you have shingles to make sure you cover that rash and you do not expose the child. Is shingles contagious? Well, so if someone has not been vaccinated for the chicken pox, absolutely it can be contagious. So you want to, and it is contagious no matter what, while that rash is active. So when you do have that active rash, you want to make sure that you stay, keep it covered, make sure that your hands are washed, washed you're not touching it, you're not scratching it. Wow. And how can we stay safe? What's your advice? You know, it all comes down to keeping that immune system strong, avoiding those psychological stressors but the physical stressors and what are physical stressors smoking drinking ultra processed food not exercising not getting enough sleep um, make sure you get your shingles vaccine approved for people that are age 50 and older and make sure you are vaccinating your children against chicken pox as soon as you can and the shingles isn't just a one-time vaccine well here's the thing People often think, well, I got shingles, I don't need the vaccine. But you really do need the vaccine because it can reactivate in your body. So you want to make sure you get vaccinated even if you've had the shingles. All right, doctor, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. And remember, you can catch Dr. Kumar's segments every Monday at 7.15 a.m.